Hello everyone, this is Preeti. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, today once again I have shared few of the SQL interview questions and the link for these questions you can get it from the description below. So, uh, let's begin with the first question. Who is getting the highest salary from an employee table? For this actually I have created an employee table, just a dummy table with few values. So this is an employee table and these are the various attributes like employee ID, name, salary, department and the date of birth. So the very first question is who is getting the highest salary uh, out of this table. So for this let me just select uh, name and for maximum salary we are going to use the max function and we are getting it from the table name which is employee and if we run this so this is our value so Johnson Malik is getting the maximum means the highest salary okay so even if you want employee ID you can do that as well so the next question is find the second highest salary from the table so this is the highest one now we want the value after this means the second highest now uh, I am just selecting the same attributes instead of max I just want the second highest the second maximum value so from employee table now I am going to use order by here and we need to see the salary the second highest salary so I am going to use order by with this salary and I am going to use limit here so basically what I am doing, I am just using the same attributes as earlier but instead of max, I am just uh, positionally ordering it in the form of descending order. So basically it will be like the highest one, then the second highest one, then the third highest one and I am limiting it. For my sequel, you can use limit. Well, if you see here the limit one, uh, comma one, here I am using two arguments basically. The first argument this one the first one basically what it represents it specifies the offset of the first row to return and the second specifies the maximum number of rows to return so I just need one row to be returned so basically this is what I am doing so these two arguments specifies the offset of the first row to return and the second one maximum number of rows that I want to return so now if I run it so if you see this is the second highest salary if you have a look here you can see so this one is the first highest salary after this this is the second highest salary so this is one of the way of solving this question so there are multiple ways you can use other ways as well so I just want you guys to write down in the comment section your way of solving this uh, question so basically we have used order by and limit it so the next question is if date of birth is given in the table it's already given I have already introduced date of birth column in the table so we have to find the highest salary whose age is between 30 to 50 years now for this I just want the maximum salary for a particular age group let me just use max function once again and if uh, if you want like for a particular age group here in my sequel there is a function with current date C U R D A T E so I am going to use that where the year I just need year only I don't need whole values for current date oh sorry my bad for current date and this function so it has already suggested you current date will basically give you the current date present date and I just don't need the whole date I just need the year so this can be used even for a month or even for a day so I know that I have date of birth uh, date of birth and one more thing it's not case sensitive you can either use you know f uh, upper case or you can use lower case it doesn't make any sense you can use any it's not a case sensitive so the age was between 30 to 50 uh, yeah it's 30 to 50 years so if you see here there is some issue with this what's that yeah oh I forgot to close it now if you see here there is a employee ID name and I just want the maximum salary for this age group okay 
and where the year for current date uh, yeah one more thing i just forgot to close it here as well yeah sorry my bad so if you want to display the age as well you can just simply copy this and put it here but i just want to display the year only so um now one thing so you you can see like here if we see the maximum salary we know that this one employee id 1 has the maximum salary but its age is 1990 uh, its date of birth is 1994 so from the current one if we subtract it so it will become 27 years so now let's just run it we know that is 27 year old so now when we run it andrew ng has the maximum salary in this age group so if we put the uh, age let's say uh, 20 to 50 then definitely we will have johnson malik here so okay the next question is write the sql query to find the number of employees according to department whose date of birth is between this 1 1 1992 to 31st 12 1994 so let me just take back to you to the mysql workbench once again so we have to count the uh, number of employees obviously find the number of employees means count the number of employees let me just remove this and for this i can what i can do i can simply use count star and obviously we have to group it by with the department because we have to count the find the number of employees as per department so we need to do that because we are you going to do group by with department so we have to introduce here as well group by department department and the condition was the date of birth the condition was this date of birth let me just simply copy it instead of typing the whole thing so where you know where we have to use before group by so where date of birth is between oh my bad between 1 1 1992 and it's 31st 12 1994 if i'll run it i'll not get any value the reason is because there are you know few number of values that i have entered here this is just the dummy table so if you see here there are very very few values like two services two three insurance and banking and oh in addition to this we are just using a where condition to filtering the data for just 1992 to 1994 so the number of employees means counting values will be like null we will not get any value because there are very few values but this is the correct way this is the right way to approach this problem to get the solution so this is all about today's video through these questions if you have any query anything you can write down in the comment section and this is just a one way my approach of solving this problem if you have any other like uh, way or any uh, thing in your mind you can write down in the comment section stay tuned thank you so much bye bye